I got up on this stage right here, and there was three words, Jesus loves you. That's when my relationship with God started. My childhood was fun, but at the same time, it was hard. I got involved in music in fourth grade. I was given a scholarship for Florida A&M, and that's when I got introduced to marijuana. I went from having a 3.0 to scholastic suspension. After returning home, I took a hit of cocaine. I lost my life that night. I picked up a $300 a day habit. I ended up back and forth, going to rehab, stay 30 days, come out and get high again. I was living on the street, eating out of garbage cans. It seemed like there was no answer. My brother offered to pay my bus ticket for me to come here to the Potter's house. That probably was the best decision I ever made. Then I started to believe that maybe God has something for me and I've let him down. And I was taking care of everybody else, but I wasn't looking out for me. Next thing I know, I'm having a drink. One drink led to a few drinks, led to me back smoking dope again, led to me stealing money. Finally, I got found out and I planned my life and I said, I'm gonna take myself out. I took the knife and I kept sticking myself. There's a knock on my door and it ended up being a friend of mine. God, he's never taken his hand off of me and I don't understand why. So I came back to the Potter House. My hope has been restored. I believe my life is here to be a help to other people. I try ministering with these guys. I do chapel with them. I take time out and talk to them because I can relate. I can tell them some stuff about losing everything but gaining everything back. I let them know that this is an opportunity for you to change your whole life. This is not just about getting off of drugs and alcohol. It's just a thing of hope. And that's where my life is right now. People actually like me. Imagine that. I belong somewhere. That's why I'm here today, because this life is not about me. It's about what I can use it for to help somebody else.